Traveling to Dublin? The Irish capital is one of the most popular travel destinations in Europe, and for a good reason. Rich in history and a dramatic landscape, Dublin and its surroundings offer a wealth of activities for tourists. Watch our video guides at vidtour.com to plan your next vacation in Dublin. Let's start with the famous Irish weather. The island is so wonderfully green, and for a good reason. It's rainy and wet in Dublin all year round. However, it is usually only a light rain, nothing more dramatic than that. And unlike what many people might think, London, for example, is much rainier than Dublin. Winter is cold, but not as cold as other European cities. If you're booking a winter vacation in Dublin, remember that you will have very limited amount of daylight, so pre-plan your time here carefully. Time for orientation. Dublin is divided by the River Liffey, and most of the city's important tourist attractions are located in the city center, which is not such a big area at all. Most of the historical landmarks are located in South Bank, such as Trinity College, which is the oldest university in Ireland. Besides its beautiful architecture, the top attraction in the college is the Book of Kells, Ireland's most prestigious medieval artifact, and the finest surviving illuminated manuscript to have been produced in medieval Europe. Get ready for long queues of visitors waiting to view the book. Check vidtour.com for more information about Trinity College. Another famous tourist attraction located in South Bank, and probably one of the top attractions in Ireland, is the Guinness Storehouse. This historical building and company itself represent an important part of Dublin and Ireland's heritage. The guided tour of the compound will take you through the making of the famous drink, its history, and will end at the Gravity Barn, where you'll be sipping on a complimentary pint overlooking the 360-degree views of Dublin. Our third attraction in South Bank is Temple Bar, a medieval neighborhood with cobbled streets. Considered to be the nightlife hub of the city, and as such, it's extremely popular among tourists. Check our special Temple Bar video guide for some tips on our favorite bars in the area. Now it's time to head to the North Bank, where some of the city's major attractions are located. O'Connell Street is considered by many to be the Irish Champs-Élysées. This is where you'll find the Spear of Dublin, which is the world's tallest sculpture at 121.2 meters high. Besides enjoying the impressive architecture, statues, and monuments surrounding you, you could also add some shopping by visiting the nearby Henry Street and Talbot Street. As we mentioned before, the center of Dublin is not so big, and you can cover most of it in a day. So if you're planning on spending a few days in Dublin, our tip is to use the daylight hours to travel to some of the attractions around the city such as Kilkenny or Glendilla. Spend the day there and return to Dublin in the evening to get a taste of its vibrant nightlife. You could combine a visit to a touristic pub with a drink in some of the off-road pubs. For example, why not visit Ireland's highest pub, Johnny Fox's, situated 10 miles out of Dublin city centre. Buses will take you up the mountains where you could enjoy a live Irish dancing show in front of a blazing fire. There is a lot more to say about Dublin, so check vidtour.com for our updated video guides about the city's nightlife, family attractions, and sightseeing.